Hi, my name is Mina Newman. I'm the executive chef at Sensacana Restaurant in Midtown Manhattan, New York. And these are my favorite tools. I love to use chopsticks, more so for plating or for stirring. I guess the American version would certainly be a pair of tongs, and now the newer age is certainly the uh, small tweezers, but I've found it over the years to be very um, comfortable with these. I have two different kinds. One is a wooden, more disposable one that I use for saucier things that I can just throw out here. These are very traditional Japanese ones. I use both ends because they are both fine tipped. And these are more cooking and plating chopsticks. These are stainless steel tip. They're fine. They're also sharp at the end. And they're, they're very refined. I've always used chopsticks throughout the evolution of my career. I've used smaller ones and longer ones, but this size happens to be the most comfortable ones. My knives, this is my Musono knife that I use every day from cutting fish to dicing fine vegetables and herbs. I have to tell you, I love this knife very much. You know, it brings back memories. It's all the time that's been with you. It's always been my go-to. It's always ready on the spot. I've used it for so many years. I think this used to be about an inch longer from all the years of sharpening it. It's a Western style Japanese knife. Normally, Japanese style knives are high carbon. This is a stainless steel knife and I like it because sometimes if I'm distracted, I can sort of leave it there and then come back to it and just sharpen it. But this knife is a workhorse. So I love the way it feels, the balance of it, the tang just feels really comfortable in my hand. And so when I'm cooking, I, when I'm cutting something that needs a little more weight or something that's a little longer, I go to this knife. This is my VitaPrep machine, which we use uh, day and night here at Sensacana to make our leche de tigre. Leche de tigre is the broth or the sauce that's left over in the ceviche after all the fish has been marinated, the lime juice, your spice, whatever your ají is, your salt, your pepper. At the bottom of that bowl sits a liquid because the fish begins to cook. So because we emulsify the fish into the sauce, it requires a high volume of air to be integrated. And so this baby works day and night. From the morning shift and then the night shift because the ceviche's changed from morning to night. I remember somebody saying to me, why do you need to spend so much money on this blender? And I was like, first of all, it's not a blender. It is so efficient and you can control the, the speed. So maybe you don't want it so pureed. Maybe you just want it to be chunky. Maybe you need to aerate only lightly. There's a lot of control versus just an on and off, high and low. The pitcher just gets hand washed on its own. It doesn't go to the dishwasher and this gets cleaned down every time it's used. I've had to change this um, small gear in here, which is an easy part to replace. And when the knives get dull, we change the, the blades inside. They're whole onions, whole garlic. This goes right into this baby, one horsepower, oblivion. These are my favorite spoons, but of these three, this definitely is my favorite, and it's the one I use the absolute most from start to finish, from A to Z. From plating to mixing, I sauce plates with, I can use this for broth, I can use it you know, very delicately. Sometimes I use the opposite side for tasting something. This is for either caviar or something very small, the trout roe, or, yeah, this is great. So the Bonito shaving machine is a custom-made machine, comes from Japan. Bonito is so hard that it requires this machine to cut it. There is a manual Bonito shaver. It's really tough to do. So we use the Bonito to make our dashi. In my mind, I was like, oh, it probably would be cool to use a truffle shaver, but it was impossible. Once we acquired, and it finally came from Japan, it saved an enormous amount of time, number one. And number two, just the product that we were getting from that. Just because it's cut so fast with such sharp knives, you really conserve that flavor and the color. There are three separate blades in there that spin really fast and slice the bonito. Very, very paper thin.
Right. We clean it every day. Dry cloth. We bought extra blades, but we have to then send the blades to Japan to be sharpened. And there's a band inside the machine that gets um, worn out. Again, we have to replace that. The parts get sent to Japan, and then they get shipped back. I'm born and raised in New York. My mother is from Chiclayo, Peru. We were raised all very Latino, very Peruvian. My inspiration for this restaurant in particular was that heritage. And ingredients that weren't necessarily Peruvian were more Asian. Nikkei cuisine is that of the Japanese people that came over via immigration 100 years ago to Peru and started their lives. 